hopefully I didn't waste my evening and I really won't know until I start editing this film. So if you're seeing it, that was a success. If you don't see it, then I'm the only one that's ever gonna know that I wasted my evening. Um, it's also why I used the kitchen twine. I wanted to be able to back up using the shooter and the FX2 if you weren't able to see it. Hopefully you can see the kitchen twine. This next video is going to be about the San Diego Double Jam. It's the knot that I use the most anytime I'm tying fluorocarbon to a lure, a jig, a plug, something that's subsurface, and I'm throwing fluorocarbon. It's a knot that I started using 15 years ago, probably or longer. Um, it's popular. A lot of guys use it. It's a good knot. Um, I have probably the highest, lowest fail rate with that knot with fluorocarbon to a lure. So. Here it is. This is a 20 pound shooter that I'm using here that I'm just showing you. I'm using a bigger line and everything to hopefully where you can see the line a little better. Um, let me show you fluorocarbon to a lure and uh, the knot that I use. And I use this with jigs, um, crankbaits, anything that I'm tying fluorocarbon to. Double your line up and uh, I'm leaving I'd say it's probably 18 inches of tag in, so quite a bit. The knot that I'm tying here is a San Diego jam. Double San Diego jam. And I hence the two lines through there. So you got this run through here, it's just sliding in, sliding out, and I got my tag in here. I take this tag in, let's see if I can slide this over. Show you. I might have to lift the camera up a little bit. There we go. All right, so take the tag in. I stick this finger out. I'm going to run my line over that. Hold it. Swing. One, two, three, four, five if you want to get it. Heavier lines, less twirls. Smaller lines, more twirls. Put it in this finger, and I'm going to run back through this hole right here that I just made over my finger. Wet my line, run it down, cinch it down tight. This is a knot that I tie on 90% of my fluorocarbon to lures. You got three tag ends here. You got one here and then the two that were doubled up. Clip those two off. It is not the prettiest knot, but it is a very effective knot for fluorocarbon. Like I do not, the, the break rate in this thing is very low. Um, I actually talked to a guy today from Sunline and uh, we were talking about making videos online and he was talking about how everybody always has done videos online. And that's basically, this is a knot I tie. It's the strongest, it's the strongest because this is the knot that I've used forever. And so what Sunline's about to do and put on their website, I think is gonna make some videos and they are putting all their knots to tests. So there is a knot tester. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but it's basically you tie a knot, put it on a machine and it pulls on that knot until it breaks. And that gives you the breaking point. So some knots that are really good, the line will actually break instead of the knot. So you really do get to learn the scientific, what is the strongest knot and what is not. Um, if you're watching this video, you're uh, just trusting me that it's the strongest knot because it's the one that I've thrown five bazillion times and break the least out over other knots. So once again. Okay, this is a San Diego double jam with twine. It's gonna take some line here, all right? So we're gonna double it up. I'm going to leave ourselves some slack there because we like to swing this this one when we tie it. This is kind of, this is the one you always see me swinging in my boat or other guys swinging. Your lure, double line, slides up and down the line. Going to hang your finger out like this. Going to go over the finger and wrap. One, two, three. Normally I wrap more than that, but this is some big line. So now you've got your finger through the loop and you've got your double tag here. We're going to go back through this loop, pull, and then obviously at this point it's usually when we moisten the line, and then this is just going to slide down right on top of our lure. And then we end up with three tag ends. We've got this double one and the one that I just dropped. So when we trim this, 
it makes it not the prettiest knot because it's got three tag ends. But the San Diego Jam is what I use on my fluorocarbon to lures, fluorocarbon to jigs, and I use it a lot. And that's what it looks like. It's a strong knot. Like I say, I, we're going to put all these on the tester. I'm interested to see what's what lures or what knots come out where. Um, what I do know about knots and line testers is, is you can take the same knot, let's say a San Diego double jam, and you can have 10 people tie it, and there'll be three guys or four guys that tie it one way. They, they tie it the same, but the, the results will come out different. But there'll be three guys that tie that knot really, really well. And there'll be three guys that don't tie that knot very well. But they may tie a different knot that tests better on fluorocarbon on a machine than the San Diego Jam. So a lot of it has to do with who's tying the knot. And there's, there's, there's definitely some truth in that. Um, we've kind of learned the hard way from tying knots and losing fish. But um, this is a knot that I've had a lot of success with. And I've tied it a long time. And um, I don't have any issues with it. So there you go, you've seen it with the actual fluorocarbon and you've seen it with a nylon rope. So uh, the knot we're gonna cover now is my braid to fluorocarbon that we use a lot on spinning rods uh, in the bass industry these days. Um, the FG knot is the knot that I would say the majority of the top pros are throwing right now. Um, I have nothing against the FG knot. I like it. It looks good. It's strong. I can tie it. I can tell you that it is cantankerous. And um, it uh, it's amazing. I watched Jeff Creek tie it, and it's like, are you kidding me, dude? I mean, he's got it's, – it's, it's a mess. But he can tie it really good. Um, I tie the Albright knot. Not Matt Reed taught me the all bright knot many years ago. I actually called it the Matt Reed knot forever. Um, it's a knot that still works for me, and what works for me, I stick with. You guys probably know it about me by now. So take your fluorocarbon. We're going to double it over, just like you were tying a Palomar or a double San Diego jam, anything else. You can leave your 10 inches or whatever you want for your tag in. On that loop of the double over, you take your floor or your braided line. We're going to slide it through that hole. And I'm going to leave about an 8 to 10 inch leader there, a tag in. Put my finger on that loop and start wrapping. And we're going to wrap six to seven times till you get to the top. Then hold the top of it. We're going to go back down six or seven times. And then we're going to go back through the same way that we came up. So line came up here through the loop. We're going to go back down the same direction so it's nice and clean. We're going to hold the tag in on the braid, the tag in on the fluoro. Start to pull until they get snug. Moisten it. Pull tight. Let go of your tag ends. Pull on that. And then trim. Trim your tags as short as you can. It's not going to come loose. It will not come loose. It's like a Chinese finger trap when you were a kid, if you ever played with those. That's basically what this is. Pull as tight as you can. I mean, that is a knot, guys. The problem with the Albright, of course, this is 20-pound test shooter, and I'm using 60-pound test braid for the purpose of this video. But the actual diameter of this knot has nothing to do with the strength or anything like that. That's why the guys went to FG. The FG actually leaves a smaller knot right here, which passes through their guides easier. Um, I don't have a problem with this thing, because I mean, I'm usually throwing 15 pound braid and 10 pound or eight pound fluoro, and uh, it's it's not near as big as this is with, with, with this setup right here. This is a good knot, and I've used it for a long time. <laughs> the Matt Reed knot. I want to try and show you the Albright knot with this twine. I wish I had two different colors, but I want you to be able to see this Albright knot. So let's say that this is your fluorocarbon, okay? I'm going to put it in my hand and doubled over, okay? This is my braid. I'm going to stick it through. I'm going to leave about 
seven to eight inches of tag. And I'm going to come up my line and I'm going to make five to seven twists. With this stuff being so big, I'm going to make three. You pinch it at the top and come back down three. The same that you come up, go back down. So if you're using the other line, go back down six or seven. And then go back through the top of your loop the same way that you came in. It's all going to look like that. And then we're just going to pull tight. This stuff's going to have to be helped because it's so big. Bunched up. But that's going to make a nice little knot. Then you're going to let go of your tag ends and pull directly on your main line. And then we're going to clip our tags. <coughs> like I say, the FG knot, the guys really like it. Um, I don't take the time to tie it. I just, I've been throwing the Matt Reed knot forever, the Albright knot. It's a pretty knot. See how pretty that thing is? And it's strong, dude. Um, it's, it's, it's the size of this knot is what they don't like. They don't like it through, through the guides, and I get that. But, uh, man, I just don't have any issues with it, so I haven't bothered to change. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Guys, please leave your comments. Man, I love comments. I love answering back to you guys. Tips come back. I mean, this thing goes both ways. I, I give you guys tips. I learn a lot back from you and your comments. So please leave the comments, subscribe, and until next time, I'm out of here. <laughs>